What's going on YouTube, Uberman here. So yet another update to this fiasco with the Mustang and Allstate and Toro. Um, so they did pay out, like I said, the 3200 and change, but I got a new control arm put on it. Um, it was verified that the rack and pinion is absolutely destroyed, um, which they will reimburse me for that. But what I didn't expect is I took it out on a test drive and horrible wobbling from the back end guys not a good thing so i took it to firestone paid for them to do a good once over on it find out what all's wrong with the car they came back and informed me that the rear axle was bent yeah that's the wobble so i've got it up in the air right now and uh check out this video you can actually see how bent the axle is right here Alright, so with that being said, we now have uh, another $2,500 in damage according to Firestone for replacing the rear axle, the fluids, uh, the seals, everything that's going to be involved with this, um, along with replacing the rack and pinion, $2,500 more. So I've been in contact with Allstate and uh, they haven't gotten back with me. And finally, I, I got upset today and you know I'm like, this is ridiculous. I, I shouldn't have to pull teeth to get what's rightfully mine. You know, th this is way too difficult. Luckily, I was able to get a hold of the insurance adjuster that came out the first time. He pushed everything through, and I've got another adjuster coming out in the morning to take a look. The tone in his voice didn't sound optimistic. So I, I, I don't know what that means at this point. They've already paid out 32, and uh, according to Firestone, we're looking at another 25. You're looking at a... Uh, about six grand worth of damage now at this point. Uh, so I don't know what's going to happen. So uh, I wanted to go ahead and make this video. I'll definitely put this out and tomorrow will be a new day and I'll do an update video tomorrow as to what happened. Are they going to total it now? Are they going to cut me a check for the remaining balance that needs to be uh, repaired when it comes to the suspension and the rear end? I don't know. I know that I'm ready for this fiasco to be over with. I'm just absolutely tired of dealing with it. So uh, that being said, guys, until next time, stay safe out there.